Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. We're gonna be taking you on a special date tonight with us. Yeah, you're going on a date with us. Date night. We have a lot to date. celebrate. What are we, we celebrating? Us. You're going on a date with husband and husband. Because we have husband a lot to celebrate. And husband. What are we celebrating? We're celebrating my book release. And our three year wedding anniversary. Yeah. All right, so let's get in the car. Going to Wood Ranch Grill. Wood Ranch. All the parts of the world. It's delicious. It's delicious. Delicious. It's so nice over it's so here. It's pretty up there. Look, one day, let's just hope my book will make it to this bookstore, yeah. Barnes and Noble, because up there, where up there, that's where they do author signings. That was so cool. Oh yeah. Yeah. We're on our honeymoon date. We're not honeymoon. honeymoon? We're, on our, <laughs> we're on our anniversary date, and you're talking about why, though. We're gonna act like, <laughs> we're gonna act like it's our honeymoon afterwards, though. Oh! <laughs> no, we didn't. Yes, he did. Alright, Aaron, go for it. Wait up! He's gonna pitch. Margaritas. Nice. What do you want to get? Um, uh, what that beer? We have cocktails too. Slash, you're um celebrating the book. Yes. So, so we need to get something good. Appetizer. Appetizer. Dessert. 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 What? Uh. <laughs> cheers to the spider and weaving your own path. Oh man, that's good. John said sprinkles. They want sprinkles. They don't have a sprinkle. Super <gasps> sad. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Done. Done. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs> I want my sprinkles. We are gonna get your sprinkles. I want my sprinkles and I want my cupcake. I want my sprinkles. You're so cute. I don't see sprinkles anywhere though. Do where are sprinkles? Point? Yeah, you do. But where are sprinkles? I'm not sharing with you. I'm not sharing with you. <laughs> you do need help. <laughs> oh, what is that one? Carrot cake. Caramel apple. Caramel apple. Yes. Oh, look, I got a little ghost. Hey, Coda got a cupcake. Coda. Should we look at Coda's cupcake? No, we'll do it at home. I want to get the wheel okay. I want to do, um, I want to get a photo. But yeah, we just got back from the restaurant. It was awesome. There was a lot of food though. We yeah, like we one messed chicken, up. One half chicken. And, like, it was really salad. embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> they gave us a little piece of chicken for both of us. Because we ordered, like, instead of getting all the tires and everything, it was like this big on a little plate. It was really embarrassing. So we made up for the sprinkles. Happy anniversary to me. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Bitch. Oh, that's good. <gasps> Second song to the, the right. Let's shit on to morning. Alright, so, you ready? Yeah. What's he get Coda? We got Coda. A doggy? Okay. From Sprinkle! Be so happy. Lucky Coda Bear. You can celebrate too. I wonder if a human can eat it. Too. Yeah, Coda gets to celebrate our anniversary, his daddy's anniversary, and he gets to celebrate Jonathan, Daddy Jonathan's release day. Release day. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> What'd you get? Does he already know? Like, it's something he's wearing. He always like, knows. Happy. Coda, what wait. Is there, like, does, does Daddy get a kiss? Does Daddy get a kiss? Give me a kiss. You have to give him a kiss. Give a kiss. You, have kiss. you have to give him a kiss if you want a treat. He already kiss. knows. Like, it's for him. Like, how give does he know that? Look at Wait, I have to show the camera first. Oh my god. How cute is that? That's awesome. 
Okay, take little gulps, okay? Because it's not going to last forever. Coda wants to celebrate too. Should we put a little napkin on the tucking here? Tuck in? I wear a little bit, so you don't get all your new Okay, ready? Oh, it says napkin on! Oh my god, John. No, no, you don't. <gasps> he ran off with it. He ran off with it. You can eat it here. Eat he it ran off. You have to eat it here with us. You like it? Did you like it? Was it good? Was it good? Come, come, come. Merlin? Are you okay, Merlin? Are you sad? It's okay, Merlin. You'll get a cupcake one day. There are no cat There's cupcakes. No There's no Clean yourself up. Clean yourself up. Was it good? He's looking for more. He is. You only get one. Koda. You'll get another one for your birthday. Hey guys, so we're back from dinner, our celebratory dinner. Today's a really, really special day because today my book came out. And it's a special day for both of us because, like most of you know, the book has a lot to do with me and Aaron and our relationship. But um, it's a, it has a lot to do with uh, a lot of other th elements into the book. And so we're going to tell you a little bit about the book. It has some elements of Peter Pan. And I don't know if any of you know the real story about Peter Pan or how Peter Pan came to be, I should say. But J.M. Barry, the author of Peter Pan, he wrote the book based off being inspired off the five Davies brothers and it, there were these five boys that he ended up adopting because their parents passed away and it was these boys who were the inspiration for the characters of Peter Pan and um, but one of them the second to the youngest Michael Davies he was the one portrayed as the little Michael the youngest darling child in um, the play and the book and the movies and all that but in the real life Michael he died tragically and unexpectedly at the age of 20 years old and he died with his supposed lover Rupert Buxton and um, the stories about them and how me and Aaron when we first stumbled upon this story we immediately had a connection to them because Rupert was a writer and Michael was an artist just like Aaron and I and that's how the story began and I created our own story based off of them and um, I hope you guys enjoy it it was it has I poured my heart into it I poured my soul into it it's um, by far my favorite book definitely the best thing that he's ever written I can tell you that because I read it um, it's super special and I mean so the cliff notes version it's really cool like the whole idea and concept of it is freaking amazing and like hey, I know you don't me. yeah I love you I know you don't give yourself enough credit for it but you really did something huge in writing this book. Like, no, not every day someone writes a 400-page book that's actually good. It's actually amazing. Like, I love it. And it's already getting really good reviews right now on Goodreads. Yeah, so that really helps. Goodreads.com actually has a um, featuring the Ghost of Bucks and Manor as the book of the month. And so there's actually going to be a there's actually going to be a discussion on the book, and I will be participating in it. So if you guys have any questions about the book. You can always feel free to ask questions out there. It's going to be, um, I hope it's very... It's in the LGBT group in yeah. Goodreads. So go to the Young Adult LGBT group and go and join the discussion if you want to know more. And thank you so much for supporting us along the way. Watching those pre-orders came in, like our hearts were like melting the whole time. Yeah. Like this has like been incredible. Like seeing all of those pre-orders, just like it was huge for us. And it's all thanks to you guys, so thank you so much for everything. So, before you go, I'm going to read my favorite passage from the book. I was nearly in the same spot I was just a moment ago, dressed in an identical ensemble. But instead of Aaron, I found I was in the presence of Michael. We sat in the shade beneath the tree. I leaned back, my spine propped up against the tree. A book opened in my palms and Michael's head nestled in my lap. I wasn't completely certain as to which story I was reading. But I dramatized my voice in order to bring the characters to life. Michael chortled at my absurd accents. Suddenly, his smile dimmed, and I found myself following suit. Rupert, he looked up at me with puppy dog eyes. Can I keep you for the rest of my life? I closed the book, placing it down on the grass, and then I gently stroked his cheek. A lifetime is too short. How about for an eternity? Longer if possible. He lifted up wedging himself between me and the tree, enveloping me snugly in his arms. 
Together we stared out at such a peaceful setting. The, sun, the day was bright, the sun beaming, birds chirping, the grass lush, and the water sent it us a cooling breeze. It was our own private sanctuary. Anne spoke softly in my ear. When I was a little boy, when I was sad, my uncle James used to tell me that Neverland was one's place of true happiness, their happy thought. He would tell me that whenever I felt lonely or lost or missing my family dearly, that I could just close my eyes and find my Neverland and then no sadness could ever reach me. I held clutched onto his forearms as they hugged me tighter. That's lovely, he whispered sweetly. Rupert, you, this place, this moment, this is my Neverland. A warm tingling in my belly left me a glow. It's mine as well. Suddenly I sprung to my feet, bringing him up with me. Then let us make a promise that no matter where we are, no matter how life may separate us, whenever we miss each other, we need only to close our eyes and return to this moment, to our Neverland. He leaned back up against the tree, holding my hand. If you can promise me one thing and one thing only, promise me this, you won't forget it. I drew closer and I could feel his timid breath upon my lips. And that's why they call it Neverland. And then I kissed him. And, th and then I kissed him. All right. So go check out the book. We love you guys. We love you guys. Hope you Mom, enjoy. We're going to probably stream tonight on Radar TV so we can live stream the and celebrate the release. So we'll probably be on at 7 p.m. Pacific time. Yeah, so come celebrate with there. us. Love come you. celebrate with us. Mwah. We love you. Bye. All right. Bye. You know? I don't think I've ever seen a challenge where one of them has gotten it. Oh, really? Yeah, I think every time they've done this challenge, everyone's failed. Let's try to win. Let's okay, try to win let's this try challenge. To be the, let's try to, let's try to be that, that couple yeah. that knows every inch of that person's let's do body. It. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm pumped. I'm ready. Okay.